let's break down how do you make this product box, how much it costs, and how you can do the same. So first, this is a ginormous box. It's certainly not machine made because of the sheer size and the complexity of this local print. A little bit more unique. For them, they actually cut out a piece of ribbon and the fabric has embroidery on it. This is probably around four cents. Whew, I just managed this. The logo is slanted. It is not even put on properly straight. There's about eight of these buttons all around. Honestly, the buttons doesn't really have that much function. If you look in the back, it doesn't really secure anything, but it looks super sick. The surface of this box is a texture paper. It's supposed to mimic the look of leather, and I think they did a really good job at how good this design came out. On the inside of the box, you're going to see the back sign and the back design. Prints their logo all across, and there's a gloss effect on the logo. There is a outer sheet. This paper is 200 grams. On top of that, there is a cardstock. So there is a thin film, thinner cardstock inside. On top of that, special treated paper with texture. And inside is another layer, dark local printed paper that's glued on here. So it's glue paper onto cardstock, glue paper onto cardstock to create the back effect. And like I said, the button here doesn't really do much besides decoration. There's definitely room for improvement in terms of the folding. So if you look on the edges right here, you're gonna notice that there's a little bit of a gap. Each of these surface, each of these sides is a car stock. It's separate, so it's, it doesn't fold. It's a separate one, and then they glue it all together. The box on the bottom is very similar. Tissue right here. This is probably cents, maybe pennies. And the ribbon, also pennies. Drawstring bag, drawstring bag, and has transfer print right here. This is probably 10 cents. This is probably 34 cents. This box, because of its sheer size, cannot be machine made, has to be handcrafted. All the materials combined, if you were to order about 10,000 units, which is what I assume Prada is ordering based on their volume, it's about $1.66. For a bag that you're paying thousands of dollars for, this is a box that I would say it's okay. There's a lot more imperfections to this. The way that this box was made using the type of materials that they're using is a lot more prone to scratches. Like I said in previous videos, packaging is often overlooked. Most people do not give a crap about this. But again, handcrafts and stuff, there are imperfections here and there, but definitely not the attention to detail that I would expect from Prada. Because I really do think that their handbags are not too bad, but their packaging could do some work. 